I've got another toy. A Murph RS e-scooter. Should we open it up? Ooh, shiny. There's a kickstand. There we go. Anything else important left in the box? Nah. Well, this one looks pretty easy to put together. I guess we've just got to connect that one in there. What was in the box? In the box. Ooh, and a bug. See that bug? Does it come with a bug? Open up the box. Mm. Charger. Instructions. Don't need them. Probably going to need these though. Let's sit this bad boy in the shade. Well, the lock's a bit fiddly if you don't know how. I say you don't know how, I just didn't know how to put it on the first time. It'll probably take me two seconds every time after that. Okay, and then I guess this bad boy. This is fiddly holding a camera. Now in all my time of putting transportation devices together, the Murth RS was probably one of the easiest to do. So one of the things you've got to take into consideration is the screws aren't all equal. For example, these two screws here kind of beveled out, and these ones on here are counter sunk in. I mean, it's only six screws. Just make sure you put the right ones in the right holes. And I think I'm done. Take off the plastic. Wait, there's another layer of plastic. Please read manual. Nah. Do not use scooter on rainy roads. Seems like good advice. Charge it with a supply charger. Don't use it indoors. Shiny. Well, I think that's it. You're set up and ready to go in less than 10 minutes. Should we see if there's any juice in this bad boy and give it a spin? How'd you turn this thing on? Press. Ooh, a couple of bars. Give this thing a go. Okay, well, she's a bit quick. So I'm down here today on the Redcliffe Peninsula with the Murth RS. Gonna try and put it through its paces. Got three little tests for it today. So the first one is how fast does it go? Second one is how comfortable is it? And the third one is how much juice do you get out of the battery? Because these are all three things you're gonna need to know if you're gonna use this bad boy for commuting, which is probably the main thing that you're gonna do it for. Apart from me, I'm just gonna go and have a bit of fun. Let's go on with the first test. Bit windy, but a nice little spot to do a speed test. Nice and flat. Let's see how quick she gets up to 25. Now the Murth RS doesn't look the fastest, but she does pick up some speed. But for comparison, let's compare it to some of our well-known animals. Could I out-scooter a cheetah? No, that'll do it in about two to three seconds. What about a lion? Yep, no, I'm not gonna out-scooter that either because it'll do it in about four seconds. So what in the animal kingdom can match the pace of the Murth RS? Um, turns out my dog. Good enough, I guess. Now, from a comfort perspective, I had to try out the Murth RS on a range of different surfaces. And despite not having inbuilt suspension, which I thought would have been a concern at first, the thick, chunky tyres and the pretty decent build quality seem to cope well with all of the natural lumps and bumps that you'd might have on your way to work. And while a little bit of off-roading won't also go amiss as she copes well on grass, just don't try it on sand. Apparently, the tyres are explosion-proof. Fancy. Battery wise, I covered a fair few kilometers on my ride and the Murth RS electric scooter boasts an impressive battery life capacity that I reckon for me could put out a maximum range of about 40 kilometers on a single charge. It also features a hot battery system, which means you can easily swap in and out different batteries. But for 40 kilometers, I kind of think, what's the point? Who's gonna be going more than 40 kilometers in total on their commute, just on their scooter? Just drive a car, mate. If you wanted to, the speed limiter can be changed in the menu settings, but for a capped out speed of 25 Ks, flying around on this scooter I don't think there's any real need to as for a comfort speed and safety perspective 25 k's is probably going to get you to where you need to go quickly and safely enough the only fault I could find was with the disc brakes in that they were a little bit squeaky but apparently the back bit also doubles up as a rear foot brake so if you don't like the squeak just stamp on that so what do I think of the Murth RS well, it's a pretty fun scooter yes it's not one of these fancy ones with suspension and super speed but you're also not really paying for that if you just need something to get to work folds down easily and it's pretty light then this is the perfect scooter for you 25 k's is the legal limit and to be honest on most roads and pathways that's about as fast as you're gonna want to go it's got a comfortable ride gets up to speed really quickly 
Despite a lack of suspension, it's a really comfortable ride on a range of different surfaces. And I've done a fair few Ks today, and it's only eaten up about half of the battery. Probably more than I would need to go to work. If you need a reasonably cheap, easily portable commuter scooter, then the Merth RS is probably the best one for you. If you're interested in one, check the link down in the description. And any purchases really help the channel out. And if you want to see something else that we've reviewed, well, have a look at this video. See you next time.